Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Corey Cruz from Cruz Reviews. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Today, we are going to do a review of the famous and historic American Hotel in Atlanta, Georgia. Let's get going. Okay, so if you are not familiar with this hotel, it was built in like 1962, and it's not so much that it's famous, it's just that a lot of famous people have stayed here. Uh, so people like Elvis Presley, James Brown, President Jimmy Carter, Martin Luther King Jr., they've all stayed at this hotel. And a few years ago, they did a big renovation and kind of brought it back to its glory days uh, from the 60s. So it's got a very mid-century modern vibe, and just overall, I love this place for both its vibe and also its location. If you are coming to Atlanta for the weekend and you're going to go do the touristy stuff, you're going to catch ball games, you're going to go to the aquarium, you want to go to Centennial Park, all of that is within walking distance of this hotel. So it really is a great value, especially given the location um, that you're in. Now, as far as the rooms go, they're about $150 a night during the week, and the valet parking is $45 a night. So that's probably your biggest con, is that the valet parking does cost a good bit relative to the price of the room. Now, obviously on game day weekends and things like that, it's gonna get more expensive, but it's an awesome place to travel on a nondescript weekend or if you're traveling for business, it's just a really cozy place. Now this room, you can tell, is not the biggest room in the world. I've stayed here a few times and this is by far the smallest room, um, but I didn't really mind it. I love the decor, I like how clean it is, it's very comfortable, and it's really quiet. And a lot of hotels in downtown Atlanta are not really quiet. So uh, that means a whole lot to me. Now I am going to post a couple of photos from um, that I found on the internet, but they kind of show what the bigger hotel rooms look like. So they have suites with balconies uh, and things like that. And you'll see some photos of that here in a little bit. But as you can see here, the details in these rooms are just fantastic. Um, and you can see this is a suite with a balcony uh, overlooking the downtown Atlanta skyline. Of course, they have a pool, even though it's in downtown Atlanta. Uh, that's the most Atlanta thing ever. So, of course, they have that. And again, everywhere you look in this place, they really do hit the nail on the head with the decor. Now, there are two cons, and I've already alluded to one. In my mind, the two cons for this hotel are quite simply the cost of the valet parking, but that's going to be that way for any downtown hotel. And the second con is that right now, this Doubletree Hotel does not have an open restaurant. So they have a grab-and-go little location but they don't have a place where you can grab breakfast. That's a much bigger deal on the weekend than it is during the week, uh, at, at least for me. Uh, so you do want to consider giving them a call before you book to make sure that they will have a restaurant. Now there are restaurants around here, so you could always walk to something else or drive to something else, but just keep that in mind that if you like to just grab some food and go back up to the room, you're not gonna be able to do that uh, in the mornings at this place right now. So there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button below. Y'all take care.